Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, as previously stated in my uh, last video, we'll be going about making a level together. The first couple of videos, yes, will be quite basic and they're not, they're, they are not Hello Neighbor oriented. They're really Unreal Engine basic uh, knowledge that anyone should really, uh, should really know. So, uh, without further ado, let's start off. Um, I've already done so, but if you guys are uh, modding or anything, um, you should make a folder and that's where everything that you do will be dumped. Your maps, your new meshes, your blueprints, anything that you make and create uh, should go into your folder um, for your modding. Afterwards, it makes it a lot easier to find everything and uh, share it afterwards. I won't be going into uh, into how to do the plugins and whatnot. Uh, that's that's something else. Uh, I might at one point, but for now, uh, there's no point uh, for me. Um, without further ado, let's begin with our sky sphere. So, um, if you've opened up Unreal and you have this nice blank space, go ahead and save your level. I've already done so. Uh, let me just save it again and into your content browser okay if you scroll all the way down right here we have a BP sky sphere just grab it and pull it in all right now a few little notes this sky sphere does not actually make any light uh, if you see here I go all around there is nothing uh, in in here like sending rays of light okay the sun is just it's just an image all of this is just an image on a sphere okay um so what you need if you actually want light is to go into your lights here and grab a directional light and drop it in this guy will actually be the one governing the uh, sunlight if you will all right um i'm just gonna show you guys if you hit the e button you can then kind of move your sun and yeah so you can move it into position uh play around with your sun get the best results for you uh after which i'm gonna come here and in the emptiness i'm going to click and in my details panel these are the details of the sky sphere that we just put uh, I'm going to come in and change the cloud speed to 5. And you won't see that yet, actually, just so you guys can see it. Okay, let's put the sun height to maybe there. Let's get a good sun. And cloud speed to 5. There we go. That kind of moves a bit faster. Let's go maybe uh, 6. Ah, there we go. That's good. That's nice. I'm happy with that. Okay. So once that's done, uh, it's going to be very, very quick uh, so that you guys can go about uh, playing around with uh, with the terrain. Uh, but you guys should really keep in mind what kind of size you want. Um, I'm For this tutorial, I'm going to keep it at 7x7 seven seven quads, but you can definitely go bigger and and actually you know make something really really big just keep in mind that the bigger the landscape the more you got to paint the more foliage the more trees the more the more memory and then on top of that when we're going to start adding all of our meshes and, and and actually building the the actual level itself uh the layout it can get really memory intensive so just keep that in mind but for the tutorial i will keep it at seven by seven and then I'm going to hit the create button. All right, so this is going to be a quick little uh, basic tutorial on manipulating the terrain. After which, uh, next video, we'll actually go about painting it and adding foliage. So for this one, a uh, few little details. Uh, sculpt tool is going to permit you to uh, raise your, your terrain. If you hold down the shift button, uh, it will lower it. All right. And let me just go back. Here we go. 
Uh, next thing, if you hit the smooth, uh, it will really smooth out all those hard, hard edges. I have my brush strength really high. There we go. Let's get my... Okay. Uh, flatten. I think it's a click, and then it'll kind of bring it to that level. So if you click here, well, then everything afterwards will be at that level. Okay. Quite simple. Uh, the ramp. Uh, let me just give you a little idea. Let's bring some stuff up. So if you want a nice, nice ramp, you just go into the ramp tool, and then right there, let's hit there. And let's add a ramp, and there you go. Now you have a ramp. But to have a ramp, you need a, an actual uh, spot on your terrain that's elevated, and then you just grab the end, pull it, and hit the add ramp. All right, so let me uh, get rid of that. Let's go back to our sculpting. Okay, I'm just going to hit a couple mountains. Nothing big, just to give it that little lure. It doesn't matter if they're really, really jagged yet, because then I'll just use the smooth tool to smoothen out all those jaggedness in the terrain. All right, here we go. I'm happy with that. All right, cool. I'm gonna go into my smooth and then just lower brush size and maybe lower this a slight bit. There we go, let's get this all nice, remove that, and here we go. All right, so you guys play around with this. Um, I'm going to end the video at he right here, and next one we'll go about actually painting this and showing you guys either, I might show you guys how to make a, a landscape material or just use the one that's there and then we can modify it. Uh, I can show you guys how to actually modify it. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and like the video. And again, don't hesitate to ask me any questions or send me any suggestions. They are always appreciated. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys, and have fun building your terrain.